Hey y'all, Megan here. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. So if you haven't watched my last video, I will link it somewhere in the screen right here. Um, I made a um, meal planner for the entire week completely from scratch. So if you would like to learn how to make that um, before making a grocery list, then make sure to check that out. But as I said in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a grocery planner list instead of just a meal planner like this. Um, so there are a couple different options, a couple different routes that you can take in order to make a grocery list. Um, this one's really cute, but I'm not going to make that on Canva for y'all because that would probably take me a little bit of time to figure out. Um, but making a really simple one, um, even like this one with the name up top, um, that's really simple. But I'm going to make one that looks kind of like this one. I will open this one up in a new tab. Um, so at the top, it just says grocery list, and then it's divided into sections. I won't make it completely like this one, but um, I will show you kind of how to get started and make one if you would like to make one to sell one um, along with the meal planner that I made in the last video. So if y'all like these Canva tutorials, make sure to like today's video, hit the subscribe button below and leave any comments that you have in the comment section below for me as I'll do my best to answer any of your questions that you may have about um, this design or any other questions about Canva or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started with this grocery list. So I've got Canva pulled up and if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know that we gotta go to create a design custom size, change pixels to inches, and we will type in eight and a half by 11 and create the new design. So now that we have a blank slate right here, um, I'm gonna use this as kind of my little template for this video. I, like I said, I'm not gonna make one exactly like this, but I do like the way this flows and the way this looks, so. Um, we'll go with that for now. This one's a nice one too. Anyways, so up at the top, I will write grocery list. So to get the text box up here, if you're not familiar with Canva, you will go over to text and you can tap any of these subheading, body text or heading. I just do heading because it's more simple that way for me. Um, so I will use a font with this that is available to all of you guys watching this, whether you have the free version of Canva or the pro version of Canva. Um, if you are interested in getting the pro version of Canva and you don't currently have it, please make sure to check out the link in the description box that I have below um, because I do have an option for y'all to try out Canva Pro for free for 30 days. It is the bomb, so make sure to check that out if you haven't yet. But back to the design. So I went up here to the search bar under text and I typed in babies. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to change it to that. And then once you double click in the text box, you can change it to whatever you want it to say. So for this video, I'm going to do grocery list. And just because I'm weird about things, I'm gonna center it so that it's in the middle of these pink lines right here and then click out of it. So let me open this back up in a new tab. Um, first, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a really simple grocery list like this and then I'll go with this one. So just to make one that's got a bunch of lines, all you need to do is change this font to some kind of calligraphy font and let's see i think this one's a free font yeah okay so you just change it to grocery list right here and then you can go up here to lines um so recently in my last video i showed you guys how to make the list um, or make a grid with this line right here um, so let me see. So all you need to do is tap this and you actually can change the thickness. I didn't think you could change the thickness, but if you don't want the lines to be this thick, then you can go up here to weight. And right now it's set to five. You can make it really thick 
or paper thin. I like the way it looks really thin, so I'm going to leave it like that. And basically, I'm just going to duplicate this. So I'm going to hit duplicate, move it a little bit. Then I'm going to click in the white space and highlight both of the lines that I made. And I'm going to duplicate it again. And basically, continue duplicating this until I have the amount of lines that I want. So now that I've got all these lines here, I want to make sure that they are all spaced out evenly because I don't think they are. So I'm just going to drag the cursor over this and highlight all of these lines and then go to position and hit tidy up. And that's that. Now you've got a list that kind of looks like this. I'm not going to put the name on top, um, but you can definitely personalize it like this one. I think this is a really cute um, thing to do. It's a really good gift idea. And um, whoever this is sells it for $15 a pop. So, I mean, you can definitely make money from it. So that's a really simple way to make it. But um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to split it up into different sections like this. So I'm going to keep the grocery list up here and I'm going to go back to elements and this time I'm just going to use a square. I don't like this pink so I'm going to change it to like a peachy color and I'm going to create, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so just for this video I'm going to do... I'm going to do six different sections. So once I've made this little box into a bar kind of like this one, then I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time. And I'm going to go ahead and center these. You just, you can either hold each one down and type or hold each one down and with shift and then click on them or you can just drag your cursor across and well it looks like they're already tidied up okay so i'm going to highlight all three of these and then i'm going to press command d or you can go up here to duplicate and duplicate them and that's what i'm going to press so now comes the fun part where we get to make lines and actually, you know what, I'm going to change the color of this because it looks way too similar to the one that I'm showing you guys. So I'll change it to this foamy color. Okay. And like I said, um, we need to put some lines in here. So if we go to the lines, we can grab this one make it paper thin and you can either click on this left hand circle or this right hand circle um, but we need to make it to where it fits under here so let's see that looks good so I'm just gonna duplicate it a few times Duplicate it again, and then duplicate it again. Okay, so now that I've got these lines, I'm just going to highlight all the lines and go up here to position and hit tidy up. And then I'm gonna duplicate these a few times so that they all align with each other. And so that they all align with each other at the bottom where the little bottom pink line is and on the side vertically where the pink line is as well. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. So duplicate it again. Actually, let's back up. Let's delete these. And this is going to make it a lot easier. Um, let's make these how we want them to look. And then we can just duplicate this entire group. So 
let's exit out of lines and let's go to circle and let's just use this circle right here okay so I'm gonna make it really small and I'm actually gonna zoom in so to zoom in I don't know what the keyboard shortcut would be on a Windows PC but for a Mac it would be command and then plus or minus so I'm gonna do command plus a few times until I get it to what I want it to look like and then I'm just gonna make this smaller and uh, let's see let's make it a little smaller and fit it right here okay so here's like a little checkbox so let's see I'm gonna duplicate it actually I'm not gonna duplicate it I'm just gonna duplicate this little group right here and you can line it up um, with the pink horizontal and vertical lines to make sure that it's um, centered with everything else so let me duplicate these let's see one two three four five six two three four okay so we need to duplicate two more lines okay so let me delete those and let's just duplicate these and duplicate it one more time okay so now that we've got this little row then we can just highlight all of these and duplicate them and then I'm actually going to add something a little different than this just to make it stand out. Um, let's see. I'm going to go and duplicate one of these and make it a little bigger. Let's see. Okay. And this is going to be a section for notes or extras. So let's see. Okay, so basically this is it. Um, this was actually really easy to make. Um, let me change this font. I, I feel like I use this font and these colors way too much. So um, just for the sake of this video and my perfectionism, I'm going to change this font. So let's do handwriting and we will do... That's a cute font. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to change this to like a... Yeah, I'll change this to like a light blue. And then I will change this green color to... A font like that. I feel like I've used this, these colors before. But I do like the way this looks better than the green one anyway. So... Um, this one is really good. If I were to post it on Etsy like this, then I would, um, if I were to post it on Etsy, then I would make sure to let whoever, um, let whoever know who's buying it that it is customizable, not on my end, but they can put whatever options they want here. And then there's also a note section. So I think this is a really nice one, especially since I've never done this before. Um, let me know if you like this or if you would um, like to use something like this because um, I can show you guys how to create something like this or um, potentially sell these templates to you guys or um, that kind of thing. So. If you liked this video um, or learned something from it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, 
leave me a comment and um, check out my next video coming up soon. Thanks.